Hello and welcome to TCD's True Crime Briefing, bringing you the latest true crime updates from our headlines to you. I'm William Updike. And I'm Mary Merkins. And these are the cases making headlines. An eight-month-old girl died after her father reportedly went to a police station to pick up a firearm and was arrested on an outstanding warrant. Snellville police detective Jeff Manley said in a May 4th press conference that 20-year-old David Watley went to Snellville Police Department the day prior to pick up one of his firearms that had previously been seized. Manley said officers conducted background checks on the owners before returning the firearms, and officials learned Watley had an outstanding warrant for a probation violation. When Watley entered the station, he was arrested and taken to the Gwinnett County Detention Center. Watley, however, left his eight-month-old daughter in the car when he went to the station. Manley said that Watley was on camera from the moment he walked into the police department to the moment he was transported, and he never commented that his daughter was left in the car two buildings away from the Snellville Police Department. The girl's grandmother reportedly found the victim, who the Georgia Bureau of Investigation identified as Nova Grace Watley Trejo. Nova's grandmother reportedly brought her to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. According to Manley, Watley was in the presence of our officers for 40 minutes. He reportedly walked in around 2 p.m. and Nova's grandmother took the little girl to the hospital around 10 p.m. Watley bonded out of jail for the probation violation charge on May 3rd. Watley was arrested on May 4th and charged with second degree murder. During the press conference, Manley said, I'm absolutely astounded someone could leave an eight-month-old in the car, park away from our building, and walk up here knowing that the child was in the car. From a child killed in a hot car to a wife and children murdered in cold blood, our next case takes us to... According to a motion in Fremont County, Idaho, prosecutors will seek the death penalty for Lori Vallow if she is convicted of killing her children or her husband's first wife. The charges against her include the murder of her daughter, Tylee Ryan, for remuneration, murder of her son, Joshua J.J. Vallow, for remuneration, and murder of her husband, Chad Daybell's wife, Tammy Daybell, also for remuneration. Prosecutors noted that the three deaths were especially heinous, atrocious, or cruel, manifesting exceptional deprivation. Tylee, 17, and JJ, 7, were reported missing to Rexburg Police in December 2019. Police attempted to conduct a welfare check November 26, 2019, because family members had not spoken to JJ since September 2019 and were concerned. Rexburg Police Department investigators spoke with Vallow and Daybell at the time, and they said JJ was staying with a family friend in Arizona. Investigators learned, however, that JJ was not in Arizona. When investigators returned the next day to conduct a search warrant, investigators determined that Lori Vallow and Chad Daybell had abruptly vacated their residence and left Rexburg. About a month prior, in October 2019, Daybell's wife, Tammy Daybell, was found dead in her home. Her death was determined to be suspicious. About two weeks after she was found, Daybell and Vallow got married in Hawaii. On June 9, 2020, investigators served a search warrant at Daybell's home and found what appeared to be two sets of unidentified human remains. They were confirmed as J.J. and Ty Lee's. According to the Idaho State Journal, J.J. was found with his hands and legs tied with duct tape and a plastic bag over his head. Ty Lee, however, had reportedly been burned and dismembered. Tammy Daybell was reportedly suffocated to death. After initially being declared unfit for trial in 2021, a judge declared on April 11th she was fit to proceed for her trial. The Idaho State Journal reports she had been in custody of the Idaho Department of Health and welfare since June. Vallow's trial is scheduled to begin October 11th. Our next story unlocks a cold case nearly four decades in the making. A body that was dumped nearly 40 years ago in Lake Mead, Nevada was unearthed due to severe drought in the area. Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Lieutenant Ray Spencer said the victim was most likely killed in the 1980s, which investigators determined from evidence inside the container. Boaters reportedly found the barrel and body at around 3 p.m. Sunday, May 1st. Spencer said identifying the body is going to take an extensive amount of work. Spencer told the Las Vegas Review Journal his team is going to reach out to scientists at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, to help solidify a timeline. The body is believed to have been dropped in the water, possibly from a boat, Spencer said. The water level has dropped so much over the last 30 to 40 years that where the person was located, if a person were to drop the barrel in the water and it sinks, you are never going to find it unless the water level drops. 
He noted the barrel did not move, nor did it wash up to shore. The drought has caused a large decrease in water level, and Lake Mead is one of two major reservoirs in the country. According to the Associated Press, Lake Mead and Lake Powell supply water to over 40 million people, but its drop in water level has created major cause for concern. According to Spencer, there's a very good chance as the water level drops that we are going to find additional human remains. That's today's True Crime Briefing. For more true crime stories, check out our website, truecrimedaily.com, and listen to the True Crime Daily, the podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos like this. I'm William Updike. And I'm Mary Merkins. And until next time, don't, don't do crime. crime.